Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm just making this kind of short video as a little kind of update. So I know I said I was going to be doing Game of Thrones and all you guys were so on board with it and it was super psyched. But I decided not to do it and I will give you guys reasons why. I, I didn't just decide, oh I'm not going to do it, fuck it. There are a good few reasons as to why. So first of all, I know HBO are super, super, super strict on like reaction videos and uploading footage from Game of Thrones to YouTube. I've read from a few people that if you keep it under 10 minutes that you should be fine. But like, I don't want any strikes against my channel. I mean, I'm, I'm building something that I'm really proud of here and I don't want to jeopardize that. Another reason is time. YouTube isn't my job. Like, I don't get paid for making videos or uploading videos. I have a regular job and time would be a pretty big issue if I decided to do Game of Thrones. Because as it is, I film Fear the Walking Dead reactions on a Monday. I do layers of fear sometime during the week and I do a character profile towards the end of the week. Or well, that was the layout last week anyway of how I uploaded. I don't even have a proper schedule yet and I'm sorry. So trying to find time to film reactions for Game of Thrones would be really hard and I know I'd be pushed for time. And then I don't want it to turn into like feeling like a job. I don't want to feel like, oh I have to do this, I have to upload this, I have to get it done. Because then it won't be fun. And then the content won't be fun. You guys will be able to tell that I'm stressed or I'm pissed off or I'm just not feeling it. And I don't want that to happen. Because I love what I'm doing as it is. I love filming fear. I love doing the character profiles and a little bit of whatever else. I love it. And I find it fun. I just think if I was to do Game of Thrones that I'd be stressed. I'd be pushed for time. There wouldn't be any proper schedule to when I upload because, because the way I work at the moment I never know what days I'm going to be working until Saturday so I could say oh I'll upload every Monday but then I might be working a certain Monday and I won't be able to upload which has happened in the past and I've had to film and upload on a Tuesday so my schedule would be all over the place I'd be stressed so I just for now I've decided to not start up the Game of Thrones series maybe if I get time in the future I might film a reaction here and there to Game of Thrones but I've run but I've decided, but yeah, can't even talk. But I have the Fear the Walking Dead series going on and, what? But I have the reaction series to Fear going on. Now, I know I could drop that and stop doing that and start doing Game of Thrones instead, but I've already started that series. I already have three reaction videos done for it and I don't want to stop something that I've started. I mean, I've started the Fear reactions, I've committed to it, so, I'm just gonna stick with that. I hope you guys can understand and you're not too pissed off because a lot of you have been leaving comments or tweeting me or whatever asking about the Game of Thrones reaction and I just thought I'd let you know and I hope you understand where I'm coming from and the reasons behind why I've decided not to do it. Besides, this channel is primarily a Walking Dead channel. It's Fear the Walking Dead, it's Walking Dead, it's character profiles. Another thing I wanted to say is somebody left a comment on one of my videos and they suggested that I watch Sons of Anarchy. Now, I was kind of aware of the show, I was like, yeah, you know, it's there, it's a show, I'm not really interested. I started it, I didn't like the first episode, I couldn't get into it, I couldn't, there's so many names and so many clubs and so many different people that I was like, who the fuck is even on screen at the moment? But I started it and I stuck with this, that was about two weeks ago, I'm now on season four. I've watched four fucking seasons in like two weeks. I am obsessed, it is so good, and the soundtrack to it is absolutely amazing. The songs they use in that show is probably one of the best soundtracks that I've heard for a TV show. Except for The Walking Dead, because you know, they had Hosier and he's Irish. Woo! That is so amazing, it's about like a motorcycle gang. Blah blah. It's about a motorcycle... It's motorcycle? Motorcycle? Motorbike? It's about a club of motorcyclists, and... They live in this town, it's about how they protect the town, it's about other gangs to come in, or the clubs to come in and try and do stuff that they shouldn't be doing in the town and how they deal with it. It's so good. The drama is real in this fucking show. So I guess that would just be a suggestion that I have for you guys if you haven't heard of it, because somebody was kind enough to leave a comment on my video. Actually, I think two or three different people suggested that I watch it. I cannot thank you guys enough. I love it. I am just so obsessed. That's the kind of person that I am though. I'll either love something or I'll hate something. There's no middle ground at me. I won't go, yeah, I like it, it's good. No, I'll either be like, it's shit or I love it. Now for all the topics of things that I'm obsessed with this week, another thing that I kind of discovered and I'm just in love with is a book by Sean Patrick Flannery. It's called Jane 2. I have it here somewhere. Where is it? There it is. So this book is by Sean Patrick Flannery. Can you see it? 
It's about a boy called Mickey. It's about his upbringing and his childhood. Um, it's kind of like a coming of age story. And then towards the end of the book, he gets older and it's about where he's at in his life now. Honest to God, I am obsessed with this book. I read the whole thing in like two days. Like once I started it, I couldn't put it down. And I was a bit skeptical going into it because because the author of the book is actually an actor, Sean Patrick Fannery. He's been in loads of movies and stuff. Uh, he He's in the Boondock Saints as well, which is where I discovered him from. And I was kind of skeptical about it. I was like, I mean, you know, when someone famous does something, everybody kind of gets on board with it and gets behind it. And they're like, yay. So I was kind of like, will it actually be any good? I mean, I don't know. Honest to God, it's in the top five best books that I've ever read. And it's so different to what I usually read. Like, I, I love horrors and thrillers and books like that. This is completely different, but it is so worth it. Now, I know if you're in America, you can buy it in bookshops. Like, the American bookshops, I don't know what they're called, Barnes and Nobles or something. But in Ireland, like, you can't buy it anywhere. So I had to get it from Amazon. So I went to a lot of bloody efforts to get this feckin' book, but it was so worth it. Another thing I'm obsessed with at the moment is Troy Savan. He's this fella from YouTube. I think he was a YouTuber before he was a singer. I'm not really sure, but he's a singer and he has a few songs out and I only discovered him yesterday actually. I was in work and one of his songs came on the radio and I came home and I googled the lyrics and I found him obsessed with his music. I've listened to like one of one song in particular on repeat since yesterday. Like since last night I've been listening to the same fucking song over and over and over again I just can't get enough of it. He's a really good singer, he's a pretty cool guy and I'm obsessed with him. So that's just kind of my news at the moment. What I'm up to. Again, I hope you guys understand about the Game of Thrones thing. Uh, I know I'm sorry, I am very sorry that I'm not doing it. But I don't want to add too much to this because I feel like I'll be kind of bogged down and overloaded with stuff and then I won't feel like it's fun anymore. So that's just letting you know why and stuff and yeah. Another thing that I wanted to announce is I'm going to be doing another question and answer video. A few people have left comments under like previous videos and they've tweeted me saying are you going to be doing another Q&A? Can I submit a question? So I've decided, fuck it, I will. I'll do another one. I know I did one recently enough about three or four weeks ago but my channel has grown substantially since then and there's a lot of new people here so I'll do a question and answer video. I'll probably upload it next week or sometime next week so I'll give you guys time to get questions in in case you don't see this video till a bit later. So if you have a question or anything that you want to say really leave it down below in the comments or you can head over to Twitter and tweet it to me. I've had a lot of people asking me what's my Twitter. It's Katie Shocks. I'll leave the little name down there so you know how to spell it. I'll leave a link in the description as well. I think I do that most of my videos but sometimes I forget. So this has been a really weird video just of me rambling in general. So I'm going to end it here before it goes on because I could talk for hours. I'm such a talker. Especially when I put the camera on and I know that you guys are going to watch it and stuff. I'm like, let me tell you another thing. So I'm going to cut it here before I start talking anymore. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm actually, once I finish filming this, I'm going to go and film another character profile. Mm -hmm. Wonder who it'll be this week. So yeah, I'm going to go film that character profile now and then probably edit that later on. That'll be up a bit later in the week. So when you see this, it'll be a few days before you see the character profile. Anyway, goodbye. I'm glad you enjoyed and I will talk to you all soon.